There's an air of magic in the repair shop today. As Betty and Ian Hill approach the barn, bringing a cherished item that represents an enchanting love story. How you doing? Hello. You all right? Fine, thank I'm you. I'm Jay. And you? Hi, Jay. I'm Betty. All right, Betty. I'm Ian. All right, Hi Ian. There. What have we got here, then? A little music box. Oh, Steve. A little baby one. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Steve's our expert on music boxes. Right. And so, you. tell us about this. Well, my father was a professional magician, belonged to the magic circle. OK. When I was very small, he sometimes included me in his shows. I'd yeah. be sitting in the audience and he would say at some point, now, I need a little boy or a little girl to come up and help me with the next trick. Yeah. And I would go on up <laughs> and yeah. I would stand up there and he would say to the audience, I want you to understand, I don't know this little girl. And he used to turn to me and say, do I know you, little girl? Yeah. And I would say, no, Daddy. <laughs> and the audience would, of course, erupt with laughter. <laughs> Whenever he went out for work, he always brought my mother back something. Right. My mother's name was Rose, and he came back one day with this little music box, okay. which plays uh, what used to play eight songs, and the sixth song is called The Last Rose of Summer. Oh, that's nice. He absolutely adored my mother. Yeah. And they were married in June 1926. OK. And my father wanted a movie film of the wedding, which in those days yeah. was unheard of. Yeah, so we have actually got film footage of no their ma of them really? being married. Yes. Yeah. And at that time, as far as they were concerned, it was the first movie film of a wedding in this country. No. Yes. <laughs> They were very, very happily married. They lived together very, very closely. He would never spend a night away from her. Mm. And they were married for 54 years. And to the very end, they used to sit and hold hands. So this music box is a symbol of their love then, isn't it? Mm. From my point of view, it links them together. It doesn't work, Steve. I don't know what you can yeah. do with it. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> so when was the last time you heard it playing then? I think I must have been six or seven. So I don't know how long it hasn't worked. So help me a bit. Was there an event or something that, that, that stopped it working, or did it just... No, I'm not aware of... of anything. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not aware of it being dropped or, or damaged in any way. Well, it's interesting, because you look in there and there's nothing apparently wrong. But it just doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite an interesting project. I'm looking forward to this one. Yes. But what would it mean to you to have this fully restored? Well, it would bring my dad back to me, wouldn't it? He was the most wonderful, kind man, very generous. It would just be good to see Betty and remember all the memories that come with it. Well, if you leave this with us, I'm sure Steve's going to work his magic. Yeah, okay. lovely. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Steve. Thank you. Looking forward to it, actually. I will feel very, very happy if Steve can get the music box to work, even if it's one song to bring my parents back in my memory, it would be lovely. I'm sure he'll do his best, and if it can be repaired, he will repair it. Yeah.